Alright, so since I am done with Resident Evil 6 as of the time of this recording, you can see I brought my PS2 out from the grave. Because for whatever reason I felt like playing this game. What am I playing, you might ask? Well, it's a game that spawned a meme. I'll let you know that much. We will find we will see what it is once it loads, hopefully. It is a movie-based game. There is a different version of this on PC, and the PC version of this game sucked really bad. Uh, that's right, we're playing Spider-Man 2 on PS2 today. So, yeah, made by Activision before they sucked. Now, someone might ask me to play the first game, and the first Spider-Man game for the first movie, and I don't have that game. So, this game nowadays is known for spawning the pizza delivery theme, which is a meme. But, even outside of the meme of the pizza delivery theme, this is actually a good, this is actually a legitimately good game. So I don't know how many characters I can have. Let's see if I can just put Raging Gamer 095. Uh. Oh. Raging Game, whatever. It's fine. So. Enter. Normal swinging or easy swinging. One button swing and release with automatic swing jumping and full manual control for maximum precision. Uh, just go with normal swinging. I think I tried easy swinging and it's not easy at all. It, it, the normal swinging is not difficult to learn either. Now I did play the Spider-Man 1 on PC and it's, I think it's the same as the console version. Spider-Man 2 on PC is very much a different game, and that game, that version is absolutely horrible. Just close my window. Tobey Maguire is Spider-Man, of course, slash Peter Parker. Alfred Molina, who I think was Aunt May. Kirsten Dunst, who is uh, Mary Jane, of course. Spider-Man 2. So, I'm going to say right now, I'm not going to go for 100% of this game, because some of the challenges you have to do are this pretty hard. Story. It's the usual thing. Boy meets girl. Boy loses girl. Boy meets another girl. Well, uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Don't think my life is all flowers and romance, though. I wish. More and more, my life is spent out here, fighting some of the worst the city has to offer. Sometimes it's just a mugger. Sometimes it's a bigger problem. This is the city I protect. New York City. It's my home. My playground my responsibility so uh, I turned up the volume is Mary Jane the girl next door the girl I love but love is a tricky thing when you live part of your life behind a mask fate handed me amazing powers and I made a promise to use those powers to help people with great power comes great responsibility no matter how much I might wish things were different there's only one Spider-Man. So, I'm not going for all of... I'm not going for 100% because some of the challenges, as you see there, indicated by the blue stars, are really hard and require, like, exact movement and crap. Also, there's um, collectible tokens, which is just run around the city to XYZ coordinates and collect tokens. It's not worth it. Also, there are videos showing off where they are on YouTube, I imagine. So anyway. Chapter 1. What might have been. Learn the basics. 
Well, sequel time already, huh? Hey, I'm driving Welcome you. back, I guess. I'm sure you miss me more than I miss you. Anyway, things have changed around here since last time, so they dragged me back at great expense to explain what's up. First things first. You're not much of a wall crawler if you can't, you know, stick to walls. So here's what you do. You walk or run into a wall and hold the grab button. Voila, you stick to the wall. It works when you're swinging or jumping, too. So, um... I don't know who this guy is, but he was also the guy who did the tutorials in Spider-Man 1. Moving right along, let's talk jump. Hold down the jump button and you'll charge your jump. This yellow bar shows how strong your jump will be when you let go of the button. You got it? You sure? You don't actually jump until you've let go of the jump button. Okay? Now go jump in a lake. You can do that in this game. You can jump in a lake. Well, river. If you tap the jump button, you'll just do a little hop. A little, a little hop. That's because you didn't charge your jump. Am I going too fast for you? So, yeah. Let's get this show on the road. See that little doohickey? That's your destination marker, and it tells you how to get where you need to go. Clever, huh? When it's in the middle of the screen, you know you're heading towards your goal. Easy, right? Yeah. All right, stop there for a second and look at your map. See it there? That red thing in the center is you, and the blue dot is your destination mark. The line that connects each dot to the map represents how high off the ground that particular thing is. Oh, that makes sense, right? <laughs> sure it does. So, thanks, sarcastic asshole tutorial guy. I want to turn up sound settings, though I don't think the game's letting me. Everything's broken into chapters, and every chapter opens with one of these nifty little slow-mo things. Those words zipping by under the chapter title are the items on your to-do list, so get busy. Okay, so the next thing I want you to do is jump off the building. I mean, just jump. Hey, I wouldn't tell you to do something dangerous and life-threatening, would I? Come on. All right, let's just fall, actually. You always do what people tell you. You know, there's a word for that. Loser. So what now, wise guy? Just a little friendly advice while you're falling to your death. You're going to want to shoot out a web line to save yourself. Push the left analog stick in the direction you want to go and press the swing button. Oh, by the way, it'll only work if there's something swingable in range, okay? So, we're just going to fail this a couple times, because he does give varying dialogue, depending on how many times you've done this. I think just twice, but still. Ouch! I would work on that landing. Remember, it isn't falling that hurts you, it's the sudden stop at the end. <laughs> I do like that line. Just a little friendly advice while you're falling to your death. You're going to want to shoot out a web line to save yourself. Push the left analog stick in the direction you want to go, and press the swing button. Oh, by the way, it'll only work if there's something swingable in range, okay? Uh, we're just going to fall onto, the, onto this building once again. You're obviously having some trouble. You gotta have a point to attach your webbing, right? <laughs> Make sure you're jumping near enough to a building that you'll have something to swing from, okay? Otherwise, <laughs> we can't help you, pal. Watching you splatter on the ground is only fun once or twice. Maybe three times. Okay, it's always fun for me. All right, I'm gonna actually go over here real quick. You can jump the gap between these two towers by charging your jump. Charge jumping is easy and fun. You should be doing it all the time. Seriously. So that's a hint marker, and you just you go to it and you read the thing. I'm not going to show off all the tips because most of the tips are obvious or just some. There is some goofy stuff which is pretty amusing, but it's not really helpful. Just Oh hey, crap. Hey, now let me tell you a little about swing. Oh. Every time you press the swing button, 
You'll shoot a new web line. Okay, there's actually dialogue for crawling. Okay, there's dialogue for crawling on the wall instead of jumping. Swing around for a while, you know, do your thing. I'll check up on you later. You're fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you crawl on the wall, he'll say, Yeah, it's funny how when I said jump, I actually meant jump, not crawl. Alright, so when you press, well, on my controller for PS2, okay, the controls are, the camera controls are inverted. Um, so anyway, um, if you press L2, you'll do this little, like, dash thing in the air. So, I'm supposed to tell you something about sticking to wall. Oh, I got it. You can stick to walls. You're Spider-Man. Yippee, skippy. So yeah. Um. Also, I will say as well, these. Yeah, these hint markers are listed on the map, and you can see which ones you've done by the little, little yellow circle around them. So. You know, there's over 200 hint markers scattered around the city. And if you actually manage to hit them all, I'll be impressed, because that means you need a lot of help. <laughs> okay, Thank you. I'm back. For the next lesson, Get let's talk about... Way. Hey, what's going on down there? Stop, thief! Well, that's convenient. The arcade just got held up and the robbers are driving away. What are you going to do about it? Looks like playtime is over. Put all the stuff you've learned together and get into action. Swing after the car. You, looks like the robbers are escaping on foot. Go teach them about justice. You know, by beating the snot out of them. Correct. Just beat the shit out of them. So when their bar fills up the whole way, they are unconscious. Oh, I didn't think you had the uppercut move already. And... Wanna see something cool? Sprint after that last robber by holding the sprint button while you run, and hold attack when you get up to the thug. That move is called a sprint uppercut. Which I just did. So tapping a triangle releases the web. Stuff out of my face. Um, tapping the web sprays it in their face like that. Holding it immobilizes them. Not every enemy can be affected by webbing, though. So. Nice going. Get back to the arcade. Owner. You know, you should check out some of the games he's got too. All right. Also, the blue bar below my health on the top left. Thanks, Spider-Man. Listen, if you ever want to play some games, come on by. It's on the house. Bring up your zoom map for a second, would you? Um, that's basically Spider Sense. You can go really fast. You Great. time slows down. Real useful. You can see destination markers and all kinds of other useful But you go features. normal speed. Check it out when you get lost. But you'll never get lost. I know you. Alright, so... A destination <sighs> marker for the first Spidey store just appeared. Go buy the speed upgrade, then we'll move on. And if you won't, then I'm done. <laughs> so... After a few trips to the Spidey store, you're going to have a mess of moves to try out. You can pull off a lot of them just by pressing different combinations of buttons. Hmm. Alright, so let's go to the... Let's go to the store, buy an upgrade. Okay, apparently there's no dialogue for this. Hero points. You want them. You need them. Use hero points to buy upgrades for yourself at the Spidey store. To check off tasks on your to-do list. Whatever. How do you earn har How do you earn hero points? Well, I'm glad you asked, my young friend. You get them by doing heroic things. You know, like stopping crimes. Or taking pictures. Or, uh... <clears throat> Delivering pizzas. <laughs> the thing that this game is known for now, like I said. Some of us got places to be! Alright, so. Obviously, the uh, swing speed upgrades are important. It allows you to move fast throughout the city. Okay, I thought the game crashed. 
That would have been bad. The city's been quiet lately. Maybe my luck's finally changing. Now luckily, this game does not show any actual footage from the film, so I don't have to edit anything out. Instead, the scenes are more or less, like, re-digitized. This will be my gift to the world. Unlimited energy. The power of a sun harnessed for the good of all mankind. Don't forget the good of Otto. Eat something. The world will still be here in half an hour. And there's, of course, Doc Ock, who, of course, is the uh, main villain. If you go any further, I think it might be a good idea to save your progress, if you could call it. Just go to the pause menu and bring up the save load screen. Easy, right? Well, then do it. I will. Uh, okay, my the start button on this controller I'm using is rather bad. I may want to use a different controller. Anyways, I wanted to up the volume. Oh, cool. And I can turn stuff down. Hey, music's down. So, what are my objectives right now? Hey, go to the pizza parlor and earn 2,000 or more hero points. Oh no, Dr. Connor's class. I got so caught up in what I was doing, I forgot all about it. Okay. It's gonna kill me. Now, on the, uh, on the mini-map there, uh, you see that red square? Usually, not always, but usually you can go in here and, uh, there's usually a hideout token. Not all the time, though, but that's a very good indicator that there may or may not be a, to a hideout token in there. That's something I learned while playing through the game. Um, I don't know about the other colors, though. Oh, and, uh, hold on. Let me turn on the the music. Because I was going to do something. Sorry about that. And yes, I did know sp that Peter Parker needed to get to Dr. Connor's class quickly in the film. But I didn't remember that translating to the game. The game does differ from the movie a fair so bit. Still, I should be able to make it as long as. Help me! Ah, right on cue. I was almost there too. Sorry, <laughs> Dr. Connors. Yep. You know, Peter, you could just ignore her. Don't let them get the case. Give us the case, and you won't get hurt. Ah! I got her. Let's clear out of here. Spider. We're gonna need more men. Okay. Now, I'm sure you saw the... the thing above Spider-Man's head. Let's see that again. That is Spidey Sense, and you can do it... and when that triggers, you can do a counter-attack. Spider-Man's here already! Get rid of him and get that case! Why does stuff like this always happen when I'm running late? Oh, which I know in the film he gives up being Spider-Man, so he can be a normal person, basically. Gate secure. Looks like not today. And you're done. There's nothing like beating the snot out of some goon in midair, right? The only problem is that pesky gravity keeps pulling you down. Well, have I got a hint for you? You can yank that guy to you while you're both falling and keep the combo going. Take some practice, but you'll get the hang of it if you work at it. Alright. So I will say, for 2004, these are pretty good. 
Thank you so much for saving me. The briefcase, you got it back. Thank goodness. Why did they want this so badly? I'm sorry. I can't really talk about it. All right. Well, at least try to be more careful from now on. Don't worry. So... Maybe I can still make it before class ends. Um, I was going to say, for 2004, these are actually pretty decent graphics, all things considered. Dr. Connors. Peter. I'm sorry for missing class. I was on my way, but... Peter, I don't want to hear excuses. You have a keen scientific mind, but your grades are slipping. You miss class half the time, and when you do show up, you're asleep in your seat. Yes, Dr. Connors. I understand. Have you started your paper on Dr. Octavius yet? He's a good friend of mine, so you'd better know what you're talking about. Uh, well, I've been thinking about it. <sighs> thinking isn't your problem, but that paper isn't going to write itself, Peter. And if you don't get your act together, you are in serious danger of failing this class. I know, Dr. Connors. I'll pull things together. I promise. I hope so. I'll see you in class. Maybe. Okay. So... I think this might be a good time for you to check your to-do list. It'll show you what you still need to do in the current chapter. Actually, I will go to the pizza parlor. The white dot on your map here and the white destination marker are both pointing you to the pizza parlor. You'll need to get over there at some point, but there's no rush. So now to do what I was going to do. Hold on one moment. Menace! Ugh, still late. Promised Harry and MJ that I would... Good lord, they really don't want me going to the pizza parlor now, do they? <laughs> I must say, playing this game at this level of speed is actually pretty slow. I'm used to playing, uh after I finish the entire game with all the speed upgrades, except for Wall Sprint Level 3, which requires me to collect all the Skyscraper tokens, which... Fuck that. Um, but I do... But with all the swinging upgrades, you can go really fast. Whoa. Slow down there. The Garment District. Uh, I, I'm definitely missing some vital upgrades, obviously, since I just started the game. So, if I was to complete... If I was to grade this game's difficulty, I'd give it a 2 out of 10, maybe, for com just finishing the game. Maybe a 2. Hey, buddy. MJ and I had a bet going on whether you would actually show up. Thanks, Harry. Hey, MJ. I'm almost afraid to ask, but who won the bet? I did, of course. Okay, Harry, pay up. All right, all right. Are you sleeping all right, Pete? You look beat. Just some late nights. Still palling around with that murdering bug? Harry, I know you think Spider-Man killed your dad. He did kill my dad. Someday I'll get him for it, too. Tell him that next time you see him. Yeah, uh, well... Hey, congratulations on those billboards, MJ. Oh, thanks. Um, it's so unexpected. Everything's happening at once. The billboards, the play, which you have to come see, by the way. I'll get you a ticket for your birthday. Can you swing by later and pick it up? Huh? Oh. Swing by, yeah. Thanks. Yeah, I, I promise I'll go. So, uh, what's up at Oscorp later? I I'm heading up special projects now. We've been providing funding in Tritium for one of your heroes, Dr. Octavius. You want to meet him? Do I? That would be great, Harry. I'll set everything up then. 
Hey, come on, let's eat. So, I know something similar to this happens in the movie. I'm stuffed. I'd better Though burn I off some calories or I won't fit in my costume anymore. Though I forget how that went down in the movie. I can't even remember the last time I saw Harry or Mary Jane. So, you see the green dot and the question mark down there. MJ's been busy with acting. Harry's got Oscorp. Well, who am I kidding? I haven't seen them because I can't make time. Um, those are basically random people that need help. To be good friends. And I keep brushing them off. You basically, you talk to them, and they give you something to do for hero points. I wish I could tell Harry and MJ the truth, but how could I? So, we can finally go to the pizza parlor. Now... Dad was the green goblin. How could I tell him that? I was checking out that web zip, and it's nothing like it used to be. I mean, it kind of catapults you through the air now. Uh, you, you do know what a catapult is, don't you? Anyway, it's still pretty handy, so play around with it. You'll figure it out. I don't think I even have that ability right now. So I don't know if there's any more dialogue from Spider-Man here. Mm. Doesn't sound like it. All right, then. Now for finally what I want to do. So this is a good time to talk a little about hero points. You already know that you use them to buy stuff from the Spidey store, right? Well, you don't. Well, then you weren't paying attention. Naturally, you're going to want to earn lots of. You got plenty of options to do it: stopping crimes, helping citizens in distress, doing challenges, collecting items, and delivering pizza. There's some other ways too. So try different things and see what you like. But you can only be a good guy. So. Anytime you go into the Staying pizza parlor. Now's my chance to change real quick. Mr. Aziz is always mad. Parker, the delivery deadline is coming and you are only just now arriving? Get these pizzas to the customers right now. You got it, Mr. Aziz. I'll deliver those pizzas before you know it. Get it! So... There's a few ways I think to fail. I make my first delivery over there. And only delivery over there. Spidey, you done me. So, um, if you fall, it's easier to do when you have acrobatic have upgrades. Pizza yeah. Will get ruined if I flip too much. Yeah. I have to be careful that pizza will get ruined if I flip too much. Yeah. I have to be careful that pizza will get ruined if I flip too much. Ugh. This is really bad. Those pizzas must be liquefied by now. Yeah. Yeah, if you do that, uh... I have a bad feeling about the condition How's it going? of these pizzas. Yeah, I would too, Spider-Man. I would too. So anyway... He does not what particularly... Do to this pizza? That was my last delivery. I don't <laughs> hurry back. Yeah, he does not exactly like having his pizza squashed like that. So anyway, I forget what Mr. Aziz says when I... Oh, that's mine! Give it back! Oh, I forgot random events could happen while delivering pizza. I forget what Mr. Aziz does when you deliver him crappy change. pizza. Or deliver crappy pizza. When I get complaints saying my pizzas look like they had been dropped from space, I look to my delivery boy for answers. Why are you destroying the pizzas I give you to deliver? You have to let me try again, Mr. Aziz. I can't pay my rent without this job. I'll do better next time, I know it. <laughs> Mission fail. Delivered ruined pizza. The other way to run out of... Or the other, another way to run... Or to fail the mission, excuse me. I have many pizzas that need delivering, and you are late, like always. You are the only delivery boy here right now, too. So you must deliver everything. 
Don't be late! No problem. You can count on me. There's another way you can fail, other than other than there. running out of time, which we'll, we may see that. Just jump in the water. It doesn't matter if you deliver the pizzas or not. Like a little New York water to clear out the sinuses. Oh no! When I fell in the water, my delivery bag got washed away. <laughs> what? You didn't think you'd be hearing pizza delivery theme already, did you? No, 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 no. You're not getting pizza delivery yet. That will be saved for l the final segment of this LP. Partly because I can't do all the missions. There are 20 missions, and some of them get really hard. So anyway, on that note, I think I will end this segment here. And I will see you guys next time for more Spider-Man 2. Farewell.